We present Gavartar, animatable 3D Gaussian avatar with implicit mesh learning. In this video, we will first showcase our results and then present an overview of the method. Given text prompts, our 3D Gaussian-based method can generate realistic and highly detailed avatars that can be rendered in 1K resolution at 100 frames per second. Our proposed primitive-based Gaussian avatar representation supports natural and vivid animations of the generated characters. Furthermore, our method supports extracting high-quality meshes from the learned 3D Gaussian avatars. It can also texture the extracted meshes, enabling tight integration with traditional graphics pipelines. Here we show comparison with state-of-the-art avatar generation methods. As we can see, our method is superior in terms of geometry and appearance quality of the generated avatars. We also compare the animations of our generated avatars with the state-of-the-art approach. Our method produces more natural and realistic animations and has less interpenetration between body parts. Here are more generated characters by our method Gavartar. Here are more animations of the generated characters. Our method Gavartar represents an animatable human avatar using a collection of primitives, with each primitive associated with a set of 3D Gaussians. Our method includes two main processes. The first process computes the color, rotation, scaling and opacity of each 3D Gaussian under the rest pose. And the second process transforms the 3D Gaussians given a target pose and render the transformed Gaussians via splatting. We introduce each in detail next. For each 3D Gaussian, we compute its color, opacity, scaling and rotation by first mapping it from the local primitive coordinate system to the world coordinate system using the primitive's transforms under the rest pose. We then query learnable neural implicit fields to obtain Gaussian attributes. Specifically, we first define 3D Gaussians in the local coordinate system of each primitive. We then map the Gaussian positions to the world coordinate system according to the position, scaling, and rotation of each primitive. After that, we can use the world coordinate of each 3D Gaussian to query its color, scaling, and rotation from the neural implicit fields. We further learn a neural sign distance field that outputs the SDF value of each Gaussian which is then converted to its opacity by a bell-shaped kernel function. This design connects 3D Gaussians with a SDF-based surface representation. The SDF can be used to extract a differentiable mesh and apply various losses to regularize the geometry of the 3D Gaussians. Now for each 3D Gaussian, we have its color, opacity, scaling and rotation defined in the rest pose. How do we transform them given a target pose? We first compute the position, rotation, and scaling for each primitive using the target pose, and then transform the Gaussians along with the primitive by applying the primitive's transforms. Note that we no longer need to query the neural implicit fields again for different target poses since the Gaussian attributes are already obtained. This drastically improves the efficiency of our method compared to nerf-based implicit rendering. 
Finally, we splat all Gaussians efficiently onto a 2D image. To summarize, our method first computes the properties of each Gaussian in the rest pose, and then transform them according to the motion of the primitives under a target pose. We splat all Gaussians onto a 2D image and use the SDS loss as the main supervision. We also apply SDF-based geometry regularization. More details can be found in the main paper. Thank you for listening.